Prince Charles became popular and unpopular at the same time for his odd ideas, with some even accusing the prince of abusing his power. The Prince of Wales has been known to courageously talk about certain matters even to the point of being ridiculed. A lot of people questioned his ideas, and there were some who considered them an abuse of his power according the book Prince Charles Biography, The Life of the Prince of Wales and Future King of England by Jessica Jane. Prince Charles' thoughts on major issues including architecture, medicine and religion are said to have been influenced by his mentor, Lawrence van der Post. Charles gave a speech to the Royal Institute of British Architects in 1984 and famously described a proposed extension to the National Gallery in London as a monstrous carbuncle on the face of a well-loved and elegant friend. Also Charles published a book and created a documentary titled A Vision of Britain which critiqued some aspects of modern architecture. The professional architectural press criticized his ideas in return, but he has continued to promote his views. In particular, he stressed that traditional urbanism and the restoration of historical buildings are integrated element of new development and sustainable design. He then proceeded with the creation of the village of Poundbury, its master plan created by Leon Cryer. His views on architecture attracted controversy, mainly because he opposed architectural styles such as modernism and functionalism. Jessica Jane describes how in 2009 Richard Rogers, who was awarded the Architectural Pritzker Prize and Sterling Prize, said that Prince Charles' intervention in architectural projects was an abuse of power and unconstitutional. Mr. Rogers' comments came a week after he was sacked from a multi-billion pound project in London after Charles ridiculed his designs. Prince Charles also gained controversy due to his views on medicine. Since 1982, Charles has staunchly argued that British doctors need to treat not just the human body but also the human soul. While some people would think that alternative therapies don't do any harm a professor Baum is quoted in M's Jane's book warning they can allow patients to die by denying them proven therapies which we know would cure. As a result, Prince Charles' views on alternative medicine and his health advice were seen as an abusive position, according to M's Jane's royal biography. Prince Charles' firm belief on alternative medicine even earned him the title snake oil salesman from Professor Ernst and reportedly ignited a row between him and his Clarence House advisors, 